downloading and extracting data from the SRX 1200 receiver. Connect up to your receiver using the USB or Wi-Fi. Log, make sure you log on and then select download data. You'll see a list appear such as this. Um, one file was found. You just have to highlight it by clicking on it and then you press download and as you can see one file downloaded successfully and now you just want to put done. Now to see these records you go to code log records if that's what it is and if it's quick records you just use the quick records button and now you press load and here's your log data dot bin you open it and now it should show you what's on the receiver and in this case it's 65 ID only records and now I can simply export down here in the bottom left corner you have two types of export you can use CSV or text I'm going to use text just for viewing and you can have date time and microseconds in three separate columns or date and time with fractional seconds or date time fractional seconds in ISO 8601 format. In this case I'm just going to use three separate columns and I'm going to use all data down here no filtering. I'm going to include the receiver serial number because in every row because sometimes if you have multiple receivers and you're looking at this data later you want to know which receiver it came from instead of having to go through the configuration file. And in this case, if you wanted to have your full receiver projects and everything exported with it, you could. But in my case, and in most cases, people want to see the detection records. In a lot of cases, the battery reports, especially if you have them out remotely and you want to check on the battery status over a period of time. Let's say if you've left it for three weeks. Okay. and. It also gives you how do you want the detections grouped. Well, you can separate each one for a frequency. Each one would have its own table. And if project change is found, you could have multiple times you went out. So you might have changed your project file. So you can start a new table for that. But in this case, I just want to do it all in one file to give you a, a larger example. So I'm just going to export it. And as you can see, it came out as logdata.txt. And right now I can just view it and you'll see you see how it comes out. It has a delimiter and it shows you what receiver number it was here. I'm going to highlight that. And that, that one in front of it is the first record. And then you'll see a whole bunch down to 65 ID records. And the next is the date and then the time. And then, then the microsecond it arrived at your antenna. And then you get the tag ID, 999 in this case. Frequency 167.360, low tech 3 is the code set, and the main panel was the antenna port. And a lot of cases you'll have one or two or three or four as whatever amount of antennas you're using. And last but not least, the gain and then the power, the relative signal strength. And as you can see, I was opening up tags in the office and it was giving me max power. A lot of them were opened up in the office, as you can see, looking down, 250s, 245s. Okay, so next up is the battery report. Comes right after that and uh, gives you a little bit of information. Obviously, the index that matches the ones up there. Uh, the serial number of the receiver, 2071 there date time only and what the voltage of was at the regulator in this case I'll highlight it here it was 8.40 volts top end is 9 but since I was on a, a stable current it should re remain about 840 throughout the, the whole records in your case if you're out in the field and after a few days of cloud and rain you suddenly your battery voltage drops off at the regulator that means it's not getting enough getting enough power which decreases a little bit of sensitivity and eventually doesn't allow it to write records if you don't have enough power going to the receiver it's good to check after being out there for a week of cloudy weather to see if your solar panel is making enough juice to actually charge up the battery and here is the internal lithium small backup battery and should stay relatively the same throughout the whole process and no there was no gps in my office and that's how you'd break up your downloaded files